Hey guys, we are back playing from our Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and today we are going into the best deck in the format, because you guys love the best deck in the format, and I always like to show you the best deck in the format. So, today we're going into the best deck in the format. So, it looks like we start with an Execute here, and that is actually the exact thing that I wanted to start with. So, um, and you're like, why would you want to start with an Execute, Tyler? And I'll tell you why. Um, because I'm gonna lose if I don't get another one in play. Um, <laughs> okay, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna get poisoned right now. That's not good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die here if I don't do something quick. Um, but oh my gosh. Well, at least I can poison him. Okay, I'm just gonna lose right now. Um, I'm I'm already lost. I already lost. Like I can't do anything except for lose right now. Um, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Okay, so this is definitely not the best deck in the format, uh, but it is a deck. Um, okay, so I, I'm just going to lose right now from the poison because he's just going to end his turn and I die from poison. Okay, so let's, that was a bad starting game. Um, the best deck in the format always has um, some sort of starting errors, so we're going to go into another game with the best deck in the format because... Um, oh, don't, don't, yeah, we're just going to go into another game, and we're going to do some awesome things, because little do you know that this deck will never lose, except for that game that we just lost. Um, that didn't count, though, because um, sometimes it happens to every deck, you know? Every deck has its bad games, and that, this, that game was the bad game for this deck. Um, the best deck in the format will never lose after that deck. Okay, I promise you. Okay, so... Um, if this guy will play me, I will play him too. Um, what's going on? Why isn't there a time clock? Why is there no time going? Okay, um, this is weird. Like, usually there's a time clock that's it's not there anymore. Why is there no time clock? I'm, I think there's a glitch happening, so I'm just going to concede the game. Okay, um... So the best deck in the format just lost another game. But that is okay because the best deck in the format, <laughs> that was not a real game. So the best deck in the format continuously lost two games in a row. And now the best deck in the format will win. Okay? Those two games did not count. I, I, that's, come on. Come on. Just give me, give me some slack here. Okay. Oh, the time is actually, okay. Oh, was the time there? I don't even know. Okay. I'm going to go first. And the best deck in the format loves to go first. And so we will be the best deck in the format. Okay, so this is going to be the best game you'll ever see in your life. Um, but it looks like I can't get any basics. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, best deck in the format. Oh, no, I start with an execute. Dang it. Just kidding. I wanted to start with an execute. And you're like, why would you want to start with an execute? Because I need to. Execute is the best deck in the format. And you are not very, um, I don't know what I was going with that, but yeah, execute, execute, okay, so hopefully this guy is actually playing, sweet, put the Verusian down, actually I don't even need to do that, because I get to go first, and I can just do some best deck in the format things, okay, so, I think, okay, he puts another bench Pokemon down, my execute is going to do some awesome things, just trust me here, just trust me. My seed bomb for the win. Propagate. Oh my goodness. What? Who ever starts with that many Pokemon? Nobody. Okay, but I guess he just did, but that's okay. That's fine with me. Um, uh, I'm going to laser this, this Thunderous here and hope for the best. Okay. And then we're going to attach an energy. And you know what? I'm going to get knocked out. So I'm going to undo last action. I'm going to get an Ultra Ball here and get another Execute. <laughs> another Execute. So my active Execute doesn't get knocked out here. Um, and I don't really need the red card because he has three cards in his hand. So you know what? I'm just going to do this, do that, do this, do that, and we're good to go. Okay, we're going to end our turn because we can attack first anyways. Um, hopefully we're going to get a Verbank City Gym in play. But at the same time, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen. Um, I kind of wanted to put a Dragalge in this deck, but I forgot about it. Um, so I might have to do that later, but, um, because the bad thing about Thunderous is he can just retreat, um, and then my Hypnotoxic Laser, the poison will go away. But it looks like he's going to Tame Flare Grunt, discard a Plasma card from his hand, and draw four cards. 
So now I have a full hand of six cards again, but that's okay. So, we, you still have no idea what this deck is, and that is the plan, because um, you just shouldn't know what this deck is. Uh, but it's basically the best deck in the format, like I said 17 times already. Um, I counted in my head, it was 17 times. Actually, I don't even know. You could probably go back and count if you really wanted to, and it would be 17, because I can't lie. Oh my gosh, okay. So I'm going to poison this guy again, because I have to, because I have to Juniper and, uh, it away anyway. So it does fall asleep, so hopefully it stays asleep. And hopefully I can get... Oh no. Okay, actually that's good. Okay, I did get the... Eva Soda, and here is the secret to this deck. Executor. Oh, <laughs> you didn't see that one coming. Blockade does 10 damage for 1 energy, and your opponent can't play any supporter cards from his or her hand during his or her next turn. So basically, we're shutting off his supporters right now, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, I do have an execute my deck, or my discard pile, so that's cool, but we're going to blockade for 40 because of the silver bangle and 10 from the poison, um, but he does stay awake, or he does wake up, uh, so that's kind of disappointing, but hopefully he doesn't doesn't retreat um, and get rid of the poison, because that poison is kind of necessary for my thing, but it looks like he has a free retreat now. Holy not, indeed he do do. Oh man, okay, that's okay. Um, hopefully we can get uh, Verbank City Gym next turn, and we're not going to be able to, wait, yes, if he doesn't retreat, no, we can't knock him out, um, unless we did something really cool, but we can't even do anything really cool, because um, I don't even have double call of his energy, but that's okay. So, he can't play supporters right now, which is awesome. Um, so he's stuck with a hand that he probably doesn't even like. Um, and I'm fine with that, because this is the best deck in the format. Um, and I'm telling you that, because it is. So he can't even dis uh, attach an energy from his discard pile, because he doesn't have any. But he does retreat into a Zapdos, and now I am not looking very good at all. Um, I can attach an energy, but then I have to take some damage from the Frozen City. So I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, but at the same time, why not? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call risk. I don't need to attach that energy right now. Um, there's a Verbank, and there is a Muscle Band, which would be good to have right now because he has a Zapdos, and I can't use Zapdos. But we're just gonna blockade for ten because we can't really do much right now, anyways. Um, and I'm just gonna leave that Frozen City in play because it looks like he doesn't have too many Team Plaza Pokemon. If he wants to power this guy up. He's going to have to keep doing damage to him, so that's fine with me. I'll let the guy take as much damage as he wants to take. Um, so I'm just not going to attach any energy if I don't have to. Uh, and that's going to be my plan until I get uh, Hypnotoxic Laser. Okay, so we're going to share in for three cards. And there is an Ultra Ball, which I can use. Um, and here's another cool thing. We can use Propagation. And get an Execute back so we can only discard one card instead of two with the Ultra Ball. So that's kind of nice. And then we can get rid of a Juniper, I guess. Uh, I guess I could have saved the Juniper. Um, but yeah, we're going to get another... We're going to get the Executor right now. And Evolve just to get another Executor in play. And then we're going to be awesome. And... Not do anything else. Blockade! Can't play any supporters. Oh man, okay. So... I'm going to have to get a, uh, my other Executor powered up, and then probably use a Switch. Do I play Switches? I don't even remember. I think I play two... maybe I don't. Um, but there's a Verbank City Gym. I mean, not a Verbank, but a Hypnotoxic Laser. I do have the Verbank, so I can probably just start knocking out the Zapdos with the poison damage and everything like that. And that's going to be nice, because then I can... oh wait. I'm just going to say yes to the Shauna. Because I don't want to give him a, a new hand because he can't do anything with the current hand he has anyway. So. And now he can attach an energy and we can totally... Oh, I have the switch and everything. Okay, so I can use the switch into the muscle band executor and then totally do 30 damage instead of 10 damage. And the poison damage as well. And now he has 40 HP remaining and he flipped head so he does wake up. And this deck is going to win because this deck never loses, I'm telling you. Okay, it loses. No, it never does. It never, it never loses. Uh, it never, ever, ever it will lose, ever. And, and, and never, never. It will never lose. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh jeez. Okay, so I did get an Ultra Ball, which I could use, but I don't really want to use it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna blockade for 30, knock out the Zapdos, and take a prize. And here comes a big bad Thunderous, which will do some big bad things. And you know what's that? You know what's going on right now? I'm running out of hypnotized lasers, so that is a bad sign. But not too bad because I do have this one left. And now, hopefully, I put him to sleep so he can't retreat. But it looks like I don't put him to sleep, so he's probably just going to retreat next turn. And you know what? I'm just going to power up my executor on the bench, just to try to do that stomp attack because that stomp attack looks really cool. Um, and then I'm going to use abilities propagation right here and get you know probably just another execute here and just put it on the bench just to have another execute actually I probably yeah I'm just put it on the bench why not and then oh there's our dousing machine so if we really really need to we can get another hypnotoxic laser back we're gonna do 30 30 from the poison and this thunderous is almost knocked out right now okay so if he doesn't retreat He's going to get knocked out, but he can retreat for free, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but, oh, I said butt, pain in the butt, butt. Oh, man, that was stupid. Okay, so he does bring out the Zekrom, which is kind of annoying. Um, but at the same time, he's not doing anything with his hand. And he quits! Ho, 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 ho! I told you this deck never loses. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, Executor. Oh, I got four thing tokens. Okay, so, um, yeah. Actually, I'm just going to show you the deck list right now in case you want to make this deck, but nobody's going to want to make this deck. I mean, everybody's going to want to make this deck because it never loses. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm lying. I'm just totally straight up lying to you. This deck loses all the time, but I, it's just, it's not even the best deck. It's not even close to the best deck in the format, but you know what? It was a fun joke. It was a fun joke. So, yeah, basically, here's the deck list if you want to copy it down. Um, but yeah, just pause the video if you want it. But we're going to go back into another game and try to win another match. Because this deck, this deck, it, it wins sometimes. Um, but as you could see from the last, last uh, thing, I was running out of Hypnotoxic Lasers pretty fast. So that is a downside of this deck. But, you know, sometimes you don't run out that fast and sometimes it works. Um... So that's why a Drake Algae is really nice to have, because then your opponent can't retreat if they're poisoned. So that's perfect when that happens, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I guess I could have put a Drake Algae line in here, but I don't really, I didn't think of that before I started the video. So we're just going to stick with what we have and see if it works. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we did start with an Execute. He starts with a Suicune weak to my um, Executor. So we're just going to try to poison this guy, and yeah, why not just, you know, try to do that. Um, and we're just going to Shauna right now, hopefully get a Verbank City Gym in play, maybe an Energy, and there's a Verbank, and there's an Executor, and yeah, we're just going to put 30 damage on him, and this guy is going to be looking bad, because um, if he, I mean, actually next turn if I can get an Energy in play, I can knock out this guy pretty easily, because I'd be doing 60 damage with the weakness. He does attach a double colorless energy, so... Um, oh, he poisons me! Oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. Um, and that's why we have Verizium in this deck, to get rid of the poison, so I don't get knocked out from poison. <laughs> but it looks like I couldn't even get it in play this turn, so, I mean, that's fine. Um, but he does play the Juniper, which is fine with me. He has the Raichu in here, too, but... Um, there's a little Lit Leo and a Pikachu on the bench. So this is probably not going to be, um, I don't know, I don't know what this is going to be, but he brings out the Lit Leo with the switch and his, the poison goes away. Uh, but it looks like I do get knocked out, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay because I can just propagation, put it back on the bench so I don't get knocked out, and it looks like we did draw the energy. So we might be able to knock out this Lit Leo if we can get a muscle band this turn, uh, which is would be awesome if it actually happened, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, no muscle band, but it looks like we did get an execute and a Verizian, so I can't be poisoned anymore. So we're just going to block 8 for 10, poison damage, and now we wait. Because he can't use any supporters, 
but there is a pyroar, so that's gonna be a bummer. <laughs> okay, so maybe I should have waited until he evolved and before I used the hypnotoxic laser. That might have been a smart, smart, oh, smart move there, but I didn't do that. So next turn, I think I'm gonna Skyla for a hypnotoxic laser just to get this pyroar out of the way because he is doing a lot of damage. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Because at, at the end of his turn, he will get knocked out uh, from the poison if he doesn't do something. Um, so, I'm just going to do that. Hypnotoxic laser. And shut off his supporters. And do 10 damage. That's what, what all the cool kids do, right? Yeah. And Pyroar's ability does no has no effect on my executor because he's not a basic Pokemon. So I can do 10 damage. And yeah, he has 30 damage left, or 30 HP left, so I can knock him out from the poison. And yeah, he's pretty much stranded right now. If he doesn't have any energy, he can't even use Blacksmith. His deck probably does have some Blacksmiths in there, but he switches again! Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so that that's the absolute bummer to this deck. Um, poison damage can just get... No! He's gonna knock me out now! Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Okay, well, hopefully I can get another Executor and play next turn. Get a Muscle Band, just knock out this Pyroar. That would be awesome. Or even a, another Hypnotoxic Laser would be, you know, good. Uh, there's a uh, Muscle Band, probably not, not Muscle Band, Silver Bangle. Probably just going to get rid of that because it looks like he doesn't even have EXs anyways. But there is a Muscle Band and the Executor, so I can just put all these guys down and probably get another... Wait, let's see here. Um, I have one energy in here, so I'm just going to Propagation here. Put him down on the bench. And Blockade for 30 damage. Knock out this Pyroar. And now he's left with a Suicune and a Raichu with zero energy. So if he doesn't have any energy in his hand right now, um, he's probably not going to get any energy. <laughs> so I can just keep straight up attacking and try to win. Um, take... 30 damage at a time, because I'm not going to be able to get anything. But he does get an Ultra Ball out here. Probably for another Lit Leo. Uh, but he's only left with one card in his hand. Um, well, dang it, I don't. I didn't see what it was. It was loading. Okay, Drudagon. Okay, so he gets a Drudagon out. He still has no energy, uh, but he has one card with no support. So I get to attach an energy. I get to Eva Soda. Get another Executor in play. And... I mean, I could just share it right now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Why not? Um, I, Ultra Ball. You know, I'm just gonna just keep attacking. Um, I don't really need to poison him right now. I think I'm gonna wait to get the another Hypnotoxic Laser in play. Oh, and there's a bicycle. Okay, so he does have some sort of drawing support with his items. But, will that get him an energy? That gets him an energy! So he's going to be doing 1, 2, 3... Uh, ooh... No, he's going to be doing 1, 2... 60 damage? Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, 60 damage, which will not knock me out. Which is kind of cool. Um, but at the same time, I'm just going to get the Hypnotoxic Laser now, because... I don't want him to do any more damage than he should be doing. Um, so there is my last Hypnotoxic Laser, but I do have a Dowsing Machine left, so, you know, it's not too bad. So we're just going to knock out this Raichu. I probably should have just did that last turn, um, but you know what? It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, yeah, we're just going to blockade, get rid of the support, and knock out this Raichu for the 90 damage that we can do. And there's another Ultra Ball in our hand, and he brings out the Drudagon with 110 HP. So, we can take four turns to knock out this Drudagon. Uh, or we could get another, try to get the Dowsing Machine and get another Hypnotoxic Laser in play. And just Dowsing Machine from there. I think I'm going to try to do that, hopefully. But it, uh, it's going to be hard to do. Because I don't really have anything to do that with. So, let's see what I can do. Um... Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get another execute and play here. Um, 
Oh, he quits! I win! <laughs> Good job. Good job, Executor. <laughs> you did it again. Oh, man. Okay, so look, I won the prize of 25. Um, what time are we at? 21? Dude, we're, let's, let's play another game. Let's play another game. I told you, this deck never loses. It's, it's no potential of losing ever. Except for the first two games that I played, but those didn't count. I told you, those didn't count. Um, <laughs> Dragonite Hero. Dragonite. Dragonite. Hero? I don't even know what that means. Okay, so we get to go first yet again. So that is perfect. We do start with an Execute. Perfect. So look at this perfect hand. Okay, so we can actually red card him down to four if he, if I need to. Um, but it looks like it's another Lit Leo deck. Lit Leo. Yeah, Lit Leo and Mewtwo here. Um, so I guess just... Well, well, we'll share in here, see what we get from there. And it looks like we didn't get much. So I think we're just going to... Probably get another execute, um, just to be safe here. Oh, what did I do? Okay, good. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, yeah, we're just going to get another execute just so I don't get knocked out. And then next turn, we can start attacking with the silver bangle. Okay, so we're just going to poison him, do the extra damage that we can, and hope for the best. Um, I could red card him. Uh, I'm going to red card him because, you know, put him to four cards. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, so now we have a Sharon in our hand, and he has not a lot going for him. Um, he can attack me first turn, though, but he can't because he didn't get the energy in play. So he's just going to end his turn right now. And now I need to get an energy in play, which is going to be hard. Um, we'll see if we can get a Sharon. No energy. Wow, okay. So that's kind of a disappointment there, but... I think I'm just going to... Yep, we'll, we'll, we'll just hold off for one more turn. <laughs> this guy's probably like, what kind of deck am I going up against? Three executes? Why is this guy benching his executes? I don't understand. But he's going to understand soon enough. Okay, so he does call us for four cards, um, which is not very good. Um, but I need to get an energy in place. So he is knocking out my execute, execute here. So um, there goes that. But I'm going to bring out my other execute, and hopefully we can get an energy this turn. And if we don't, that's sad, because um, there's the energy. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we can start attacking, doing a lot of damage here. And we still don't have a Verbank to give and play yet, but that's okay, I guess. Um, I think... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave my stuff the way it is. Um... I could red card him, but he already has four cards. I don't know if he can do anything with that hand or not, but I can't do really much else. Um, yeah, we're just going to do blockade 40, shut off his items, and he's going to take some poison damage here. So, um, let's see, let's see here. We can actually knock him out if we get a Verbank City Gym in play next turn. So if you can get that Verbank City Gym in play next turn, that would be awesome. But he's doing one, two, three, four. Oh no, he's knocking me out. Okay. Uh, so maybe we won't be able to knock him out. Uh, <laughs> and we're left with a lone little execute here. So let's see if we can do some damage here. Oh, and there's a Verbank City Gym. Perfect. That was actually the perfect thing I needed to drop. So we're going to actually Ultra Ball here for, let's see, probably an Executor and Evolve, because that would be like the most prime thing to do here. So we're going to get an Executor, um, put him down, and Burbank City Gym in play. Um, we could use our dousing machine for a Sharon, but that would not be very good, I don't think. Um, too bad we didn't have a professor's letter. We really need to get an energy and turn this play, though, because if we don't, we're going to lose. Actually, I'm just going to use a hypnotoxic laser right now, hopefully put him to sleep just to have that extra chance. And there it is, he does fall asleep, so hopefully we can have that extra chance of him staying asleep. But we're just going to Shauna, and hope for an energy. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> Professor's letter for the energy. Oh man, that was, that was a pretty close call there, actually. But we're not going to be able to knock this guy out because we do not have the silver bangle. So we're just going to have to lay low here and let himself, or let him get knocked out from the poison. If that is what he wants to do. Um, I'm going to get another execute in play here. 
just to be safe, you know, better safe than sorry, right? And then we're going to blockade, 10 damage, and he will get knocked out from the poison at the end of his next turn. And he's going to flip heads, so he's going to wake up. Oh, man. Okay, so if he does decide to knock me out, though, he's going to get knocked out. And hopefully that's what he's going to do, because then I get to take two prizes. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. But hopefully he doesn't have two switches in his hand to just switch, switch. But I, he would have done that already, I think. So, he only played one card. <laughs> he only has one card in his discard pile. I have 16. So, um, here is an Ultra Ball. Oh, man. Probably for a Pyroar, which will evolve that Lit Leo on his bench. But, I think, yep, he's just going to knock me out and knock himself out from the poison. So, I do have two Propagationers left. I think I have more executors left in my deck. If I don't, that would be kind of bad, but it looks like we did draw some things here. And here comes the Rush Ram, which is going to be annoying because, you know, Rush Ram is just annoying. So we have one executor left. I have to get a Sacred Ash in play in order to do some damage to this guy. But we're going to shut off his stuff again. Put a Hypnotoxic Laser on this guy. Poison him, put him to sleep. That would be awesome. Nice. Hopefully he stays asleep. But I don't really have a good hand here. Um, but yeah, we're going to blockade for 30, 30 from the poison, and we're looking good. Uh, and he stays asleep, perfect. So now he can't even attach a double colorless, if he had a double colorless, in his hand, um, which is awesome. Okay, this is, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Okay, so, yep, he attaches a water energy to his Kiram EX, and he's just going to take some damage, so I'm actually knocking out this Rush Ram right now, and that is... Probably, that, that that feels good, knocking out that Rush Ram. I'm just going to attach to my active here, and, you know, you know, maybe that was a bad idea. Um, no, that was a good idea. Good idea. Block A for 30, knock him out. And now he can't play any supporters, yet again. And there is an Executor for the prizes. Perfect. So even if he knocks me out, I have another escape rope, uh, or escape route. I don't know what that means, um, but he has to be able to get uh, more energy on his Kirim EX to even do any damage or even start attacking. So hopefully he doesn't do that, but um, it looks like he do did have a Lysander, but he's going to computer search probably for a double colorless energy right now. Um, he didn't computer search for... Oh yeah, he did. Okay, so um, there's a double colorless and there's 10 damage because of the resistance. He did outrage. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get another execute executor in play right now, and this is gonna be bad because he's gonna be doing a lot of damage to me. Um, <laughs> so hopefully he falls asleep, and <laughs> he does. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so uh, let's see what I can do here. Um, I don't know if he has a supporter in his hand. I could try to stomp him right now. I think I'm gonna try to do that. I don't really know if I want to, though. I don't know what card he has in his hand. But it might be a supporter, it might not be. It probably is. Um, so I think I want to just play it safe here. But at the same time, I could stomp, do potentially 110 damage, 140 from the poison, and then knock him out next turn. Or I could play it safe, but it's not really that safe if I... Do that because he can just knock me out if he has an energy oh man okay I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do one safe action here and just stomp and then if it works then I can try to or not stomp blockade I can try to stomp next turn and if that doesn't work then I'm just gonna lose but he's gonna be doing ooh He's going to be doing 90, 70, okay, sweet, hoof the, <laughs> I have 20 HP left, okay, so, okay, um, I could stomp this turn and knock him out, no problem, actually he would get knocked out, no problem, or I could just let him attack me and knock me out, and then I could blockade here, and then he'd get knocked out from poison at the end of his turn, I think that's a better option, just so he doesn't have a hand, I think that's a great option, so, we're just going to do that, and let's see here. I have an execute exec, executor left. Dang it. Okay. 
I don't know what I want to do. Um, do I want to plan ahead, or do I just want to go for it? I think I'm just, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so he's going to take 30, and then, okay, 30 HP left. Hopefully he doesn't have a good card in his hand right now. Um, but there it is, 160 from the resistance. Uh, but, I mean, he would have did 180, but uh, that's fine. So here comes the Executor, and he does get knocked out, so one more prize to go. Okay, and he only he has to take two more prizes. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy right now. I don't even know what's happening. Okay, so we're going to attach this. We're going to get more uh, energy from our discard pile by using the superior energy retrieval for free, mind you, because of the executes. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how this deck is doing so good. I mean, it, it might just be a good deck, or it might just be a bad deck. I don't even know. Okay, so we're going to use abilities, get another execute and play, and uh, just so I don't lose, you know. That would be uh, pretty, pretty good. And then we're going to use Propagation again and get a uh, Hypnotoxic Laser from our discard pile with the Dowsing Machine. And that will be cool too. And then I think we have to Skyla for something too, just to be safe. Um, probably a Sacred Ash in order to get my Executors back into my deck so I can get another one out if I need it. Um, that would not be a bad idea. So it looks like he doesn't fall asleep, but I don't know if that would really make a difference anyways. So we're going to Skyla here, get a Sacred Ash, get some Executors back in my deck. Um, I don't really want to put these guys back in my deck, though, because I think if I use the Sacred Ash, I have to put five. Because it says Shuffle Five Pokemon, yeah. So I'm going to get these Propagationers out of my discard pile and just not put them back in my deck, because that would be kind of dumb if I did that. So I'm going to get those Executors back in my deck, and we're going to Blockade for 30, and Poison for 30, and we are looking good for a next turn win. Okay, next turn win. And he quits because he can't do anything, and this is why this deck is the best deck in the format, and you totally doubted me. Uh, but that's going to be at the end of the episode today. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe it's not. Um, this guy, Chase Santa. We're going to play one more game here. And you know what? We're going to win. Because Executor never loses. Okay, this is going to be the game I lose. <laughs> we're going to lose this game so bad. No, we're not. We're going to win. Um, Chase Santa. Chase Santa! Okay, so. Um, I'm going to say hi. Because saying hi is pretty nice, you know. Okay, so, ah, uh, man. You know, I wanted to end on a high note here. Um, and we are going to end on a high note. Um, I just, I just, I just, uh, I don't know. We do get to go first, which is, uh, which is awesome. I better not lose first turn. That would be highly disappointing. Um, but we're not going to lose first turn because that's not what we do. Uh, looks like we're going up against a Zekrom here. And that's going to be harsh. So I could lose first turn here. Because I did not get another execute and play, but hopefully we don't. Um, I mean, if he poisons me right now, I would lose first turn. Um, but hopefully it doesn't happen. He does put a hard charm on, so I can't even do a damage to him if unless I have poison. So we'll see what we can do. We can we'll see what we can do. Okay, so next turn we'll probably put the vermeg down, and he's gonna end me, so I can't even do that anyways. So. Um, get it anyways. <laughs> oh man, I don't, that was dumb. <laughs> oh man, we do have a Mr. Mime. We haven't had to use him yet, so hopefully we don't have to use him. Um, unless we see like a uh, Lander has come out right now or something weird like that, but I don't think, and Molga, okay. Okay, so this Zekrom's actually looking pretty scary right now because, yeah, he just did a lot of damage to me. Uh, I mean, he took out two thirds of my HP at least, so. Okay, we're going to get another, or just our first Executor in play, and you know what, I think I'm just going to share in... Yeah, um, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Ah, whatever, we'll blockade, he can't play any supporters, and some, for some reason, oh yeah, we did 10 damage because I have a muscle band, and he has the hard charm, so they cancel each other out. I just do 10 base damage, and he can't play supporters. So, 
Um, he might be able to, well, knock me out? No. He has 120 damage with Bolt Strike, but he has one more energy to go to play that attack. So he can't play that attack actually right now. So he's going to do 30 damage, and I have a red card that I probably don't even need to use, but I might use it anyways. No, I'm not. You know what? I think I'm going to try to poison this guy, try to put him to sleep with the Skyla here. Get a Verbank City Gym or something. And then hopefully that'll be good. Uh, but, I mean not get a Verbank City Gym, but uh, him with like the laser. And then we can try to, you know what? How much damage is, did he just do to me? Well, he's gonna be doing 40. Actually, next turn he probably can just use Bolt Strike. So why not just try to poison, put him to sleep. Uh, might be a good idea. And he does fall asleep, so that's a good, Hopefully he stays asleep. That's all I gotta say. Hopefully he stays asleep. And he wakes up. So he's gonna knock out my Executor. And I have a Colrus in my hand, which I can draw three cards with, which is not very much. So hopefully I can get something at the very least next turn. Uh, yeah, at the very, very least I want something. Yeah, at least one thing. Um, because he is going to be knocking me out. Yeah, exactly. So maybe I shouldn't have poisoned him, because he probably doesn't even have an energy. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have poisoned him. Um, but, you know what? Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Uh, put on my Execute, I guess. Oh man, this guy, this Zekrom is just so powerful against my little... Okay, I got the Executor. Oh, and the Verbank City Gym. That is good. That is perfect. Okay, and now I can just... Do all these things, get another... Wow, that, those are the perfect cards I actually needed in order to get my guys out. Okay, so that was actually perfect. So, you're going to blockade here for 30, and he's taking... Or not, 30, 10, and he's taking 30 from the poison, and he's probably going to knock me out. Yeah, he's going to knock me out. He's going to knock me out pretty easily here. So, I'm going to have to do something rather than nothing and try to... Uh, protection cube on his Amolga. I don't know why he did that. But he did 100 damage, knocked me out perfectly. So my Mr. Mime's gonna come out and just sit there and knock out this Zekrom. Okay, so then... Okay, hopefully we can uh, find something useful here. So I'm gonna use abilities. I'm gonna Propagation for an ultra to use the Ultra Ball here. And... You know, I don't even know what I want to get with the Ultra Ball. Too bad I didn't have a Jirachi in this deck. That would be kind of nice. I guess we're just going to go for another Execute, put him on the bench, and end our turn. Because that's all we can do. Hopefully we can draw something good from the prizes, or hopefully first turn, next turn, but we didn't get nothing. Okay, but he doesn't have anything either. But he can play supporters now, so we might lose this game. We might lose very, very badly. We may lose very, very badly indeed. Uh, but, you know what? At least we took one prize. We knocked out the big bag Zekrom. Zekrom's probably like the... Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Um, Zekrom's probably... Zekrom and Reshram are probably... And Kiram EX are probably... Anything with the Outrage ability is probably the worst thing to go up against with this deck. Um, because it's just so powerful against my low-level HP guys. So it looks like he does attach to the Molga. He has a... I don't even know how to say that. Helipotile? Helipotile? I don't even know. This is going to be a long game, though. Um, this is going to be a, a very long game. Um, Heliplolis. Helioptile. Helioptile? I don't even know. Um, but he's going to switch because the Amolga has a super cool ability. And I do get an energy, which is pretty nice. But I can't do anything else. So that's not very nice. I'm just going to wait for him to knock out my Mr. Mime because I can't really do anything without the Mr. Mime not being there. But the good thing is this Amolga has 110 HP and yeah, he's an EX Pokemon. So if we knock him out, we get to take two prizes, which is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So maybe we might be able to win, maybe not. Um, but there's a Pikachu. <laughs> And a great ball. So yeah, as you can tell, he's just using all his supporters right now. So he's getting all set up and totally ruining my strategy. 
Um, but it looks like I can retreat my Mr. Mime this turn, which why not? Why don't I just do that? That's a pretty good idea. I think so. And maybe, maybe not. I, I, I guess I could have tried to power up my stomp attack, so I could try to knock out this Emolga in one hit. That would have been a good idea. Um, but, nah, we didn't do that. So it looks like he does get the Raichu in play. The Furious Fist Raichu, which is not very good, compared to the other Raichu with the Circle Circuit. But that's okay. That's okay, and uh, that's okay, that's okay. Um, but... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just, it, this is just going to be the slowest game ever. It has been the slowest game ever. Because nobody's doing anything. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, I get to go. I get to Juniper. And I'm going to Juniper. So I'm going to use abilities. Get these Propagationers back into my deck. So then I can Sacred Ash. Or not back into my deck. Back into my hand. So I can Sacred Ash. Get these Executors back into my deck and then discard these executes with the juniper so they can stay in my discard pile so I can keep using them however I want so I think I'm just gonna red card right now and then look at this we have a lot of good things right now okay so we can start powering up our other execute and we could actually get another or get a hypnotoxic laser in play uh, yeah I think I'm gonna do that use abilities just uh, put some pressure on this guy um, try to poison him, you know, you know this sounds like a good plan to me. So yeah, we're going to get our Hypnotoxic Blazer from our discard pile and try to put some pressure on this guy. Um, because this this guy is about to get knocked out anyway, so. I mean, not really, but kind of. Okay, so, yeah, we're just going to do that. Do this. Blockade. 10 damage. 10 damage. I wish I had a Muscle Band in play, because then he would have gotten knocked out at the end of his turn. But that didn't really work that way, so we'll just go with the way it is right now. Okay, so, um, I really want to knock out that Emolga. Um, might not work. Might. Might work. But that Emolga is not even knocking out my Executor in one hit. He's doing 90 damage total. I should have probably just kept that... Oh, he can retreat now. He can even... Parabolic. Okay, he's going to do that. What does that do? Search your deck for two energy cards. Reveal them. Put into your hand. Shuffle the deck afterward. Okay, so he's going to take two energy cards from his deck, put them into his hand. So hopefully I can get another red card, so I can just red card him next turn. That would be pretty cool. Um, and look at this. We can Ultra Ball for another Executor here with our Propagationers in our discard pile. So we can evolve into another Executor and be awesome. So then we can have that, uh, just another backup Executor and just be cool like that. So, and I'm going to probably try to power up the Stomp ability, or not ability, oh, I don't have any energy left, so that's kind of a bummer, but, okay, so, there's a Verizian, I'm just going to play it down, why not, and we're just going to Stomp, shut off the supporters, but now he can start powering up his Raichu, because I did not get a red card, um, I'm going to blow my nose really quick here, so, tell me what, keep, keep an eye on the game for me. Hey, don't make me lose. Do I have to pick a prize or something? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, I'm back. We're good. And this Emolga can't even knock me out in one hit. So, I might be looking good to knock out this Emolga. Because I do have a, a Silver Bangle. Um, so, he does do 90 damage, which is kind of unnecessary. But, you know what? We're going to attach this Muscle... Or, not Muscle Band, but Silver Bangle. And Shauna, I kind of want to get a Hypnotoxic Laser. Oh, I only have 14 cards left in my deck. I probably should have shauna Um, but I did get the Hypnotoxic Laser, which is cool. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, maybe I wouldn't have gotten it without the Shauna, or if I shauna it. So that is good that I did that. I mean, it's all right that I did that. I must see here. Raichu has 90 HP, so I can... Yeah, I think I'm going to get some energy back into my hand. Start powering up the stomp attack on my execute. And then, you know, try to knock out that Raichu in one hit if it comes out. Um, that would be pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we're going to take three energy from our discard pile. Put them in our hand and start powering up this guy. So we're going to blockade here. 40 damage and 30 from the poison. And this Amolga is going to get knocked out at the end of my next turn. If he doesn't have a switch, because he did fall asleep, he can't retreat or anything. So that is good. 
That is bueno. Bueno, bueno. Very good. Muy bueno. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, <laughs> oh man, see, this deck never loses. And he has four energy attached to the Raichu. That Raichu can't even knock out a full Executor. So he's gonna, he's gonna pass his turn, take 30 damage, and stay asleep. So I have all the power in my hand right now. And I can, ooh, um, yeah, not do that. Uh, let's see here. Um, I wonder if I have any Hypnoflex lasers left in my deck. I probably do. Um, but I think I'm just going to blockade here to 40 and knock out this guy, take two prizes, and there's a Hypnotoxic Laser and another Energy. So we are looking good for knocking out this Raichu in one hit. All we need to do is flip heads on the stomp, but I don't really want to take the risk of flipping heads. So we're just going to poison and 60 damage for base and totally knock out this Raichu in one hit. So he's going to profess his letter here. And start powering up his Electabuzz. Oh, man. This... Oh, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, man. This, this, this is a pretty good game, though. I mean, it's a battle between... Oh, man. This is, this is good. This is good. Okay, so we're going to knock out this Raichu here. And... Nope. Start powering up my Verizian. Why not? I mean, we have the Verizian there. Why not, why not use it? Okay, so we're going to do 60 and 90 damage total. And he does fall asleep, so that's kind of cool. So let's see if we actually do flip heads here. Uh, we don't, so I'm glad I poisoned him. Otherwise, he would not have gotten knocked out. So, that's good. Uh, but he stayed asleep anyway, so I guess it didn't really matter. <laughs> okay, so, we'll take a prize. And there's a switch. Here comes an Electabuzz. And hopefully, we can win this game. Um, and I really didn't think I was going to win this game when I saw that Zekrom at the beginning. But uh, it looks like uh, things are looking in her favor right now. And that Amolga all powered up, but I mean, that Amolga didn't really do much damage, I guess. So there's a Juniper because he can play supporters because I did not use Blockade. So that's a bummer on my side of the field. Um, hopefully he doesn't get an Electivire out. That would be kind of weird. Um, but he might even deck out at this point. I mean, um, he does flip heads on the Roller Skates, so he has two cards left in his deck. And there's another Roller Skates. He's just going to deck himself out here if he flips heads. Okay, so he didn't do that, which is good for him. <laughs> and if he uses his Great Ball, it takes a Pokemon out. He has one card left in his deck. Okay, so he might just deck himself out here. I might, I mean, uh, I'm just going to win, right? I mean, I guess I would win anyways if he couldn't put a Pokemon down. I mean, I mean, I only need to take one more prize, so I guess he's just desperate at this point, which is okay. I mean, I would be desperate too if I was in this situation. <laughs> Get as much Pokemon as my bench as possible. Um, but um, it looks like he flipped tails on his attack, so he only does 20 damage and not 40. So it looks like we're going to win the game here. Uh, probably... Oh, wow. I didn't get <laughs> too much stuff. Um, but bring the Verizian. I mean, we have the Verizian, so uh, I guess I'm just going to stop. If I flip heads, I win, and I win. Oh, good game. Good game, Chase, and it was fun playing with you um, on my friends list. And, yeah, good game. Very good game, actually. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good game, I guess. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode t for today, guys. So be sure to like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not. And we'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.